it is Jen here and I am so sorry I've been MIA for about nine weeks now. Um, this has been a lot going on, but I wanted to get in here and show you my setup for 2018. So uh, this one here is going is my work horse work planner and I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, you can probably see my cat's tail flicking <laughs> around in the screen. Um, so my job has changed dramatically um, from what I thought I was going to do to what I ended up doing. So I had a big planner in my, one of my last videos and you can check that and that just didn't work. So this is what I'm using and I'll show you that. This is my everyday home me planner and this one over here is my work everyday planner. And so let me just show you what that looks like. So I'll move these out of the way. And I'll start with this one. This is a Foxy Fix. Um, is it wide? No, it's not a wide. <laughs> it's not the narrow one. It's the one in the middle. I don't know what it's called. But it's a Foxy Fix Lush. And it is grey with black stitching. And I have this gorgeous little charm here from Messy Bun Creations. And I will link her details down below. She's an Australian Etsy shop owner. And so this is it. And this is what it looks like from the side. It's a chunky monkey. It's soft and beautiful and I love it. So looking in, I am pretty straightforward with my planning. There's not a lot of, there's not a heap of frills and decorative. I mean, there is some decorative stuff, but it's not crazy decorative. So in here, I just have a card for my doctor surgery. Um, I have some stickers that I've been using and I've got some little uh, post-it stickers that I've been using as well. And how cute are these? These are Potter Fever and Real Princesses. Super cute. So I've got those tucked in here. Uh, and with the Lush, you can see that there is a big pocket in the back. And at the moment, I've just got my blood work... Um, script that I need to use and there is no um there's just this pocket on the other side oh I have stickers in here uh there is just the, another one of these pockets it's the same as this layout on this side and there is no loop so pen loop so I've just kind of created one with a bulldog clip so you can tell I haven't been filming for a while because words don't come out properly <laughs> all right so this is my Hobonichi Techo, and in here I use this guy pretty much like a journal. So I'm not going to go too in depth in this one for obvious reasons, but in my daily pages here, let's show you one that I can, I can, I use my monthlies. This is March 2019, so nothing's in here now, but um, in these I track um, how much is how much money I have in all my bank accounts and just to kind of see how they're going and when they tend to um, where I tend to spend my money uh, and it's also where I track you know my girly things times of the month those sorts of things so it's mainly just tracking type stuff in here uh, and I've just I just had this 2018 just I've started doing it and I actually forgot about it so I need to add to it. What I want to do is just layer and layer some things for 2018 that make me feel positive and happy and those sorts of things. I clip the days that have gone by. I've got some goals on this side. I've got some journaling on the other side. Sometimes I use the daily pages as just a quick things that I need to do for that day. And um, we went camping and a wombat broke into our tent. So that was just a little bit of journaling there. Um, just some things that I needed to get done that day. Um, and we're going on holidays. Sometimes I use these just solely for writing and journaling. And they're very, very personal things. So obviously I'm not going to share that. But I, if I skip a day, I skip a day. And I'm not too upset by it I can always go back and doodle a picture in there or test some watercolors in there or put some stickers in there if I really wanted to but I really don't have a problem with it if I have work overflow 
from here and it doesn't all fit in here whoopsie daisy i'll put it in here um my main calendar planner is this one here and i'll show you that in a minute if i have overflow from that or i've got a lot to do that day it goes in here as well so this is kind of like it catches a catch-all catches everything and that is that one and there's like a little back cover for that in a foxy fix um dashboard thingy Okay, there I have two spare elastics here that I'm not using because my books are so big. This one here is the 2000, well, behind this Foxy Fix, is the 2018 um, Rose Gold Kiki K A6 Planner. And this one is the one that I'm using to do all my calendar daily stuff. So I used to use the um, Annie Plans printables, which were great, but I wanted something like a book that I could just put everything, keep everything together, and I didn't have to print stuff off, and this worked for me. Um, I pulled out for a couple of weeks because I didn't actually start this until I think it was February, something like that. Yeah, I didn't use, start using it until Feb, so I just pulled out the first couple of pages. Um, in the month there's so it goes within the weeks it looks like this one blank and then I started to kind of just play around with it a little bit and then I started to just track when money was coming in now in this before I switched to my Hobonichi uh, and here is typically what it looks like so I'll put in this first box which is blank um, my to do's for the week and then um, I had a staff meeting here so I put this down in here what term and what week we are at school um, and my to do's and appointments things that I need to pay things like that I'll go into this week and we are in April again I'm doing this so here's my planning video uh, so I've just been putting in reminders and I, this just really works for me. So next week I've got set up birthdays, to-do lists. I like a few little bits of decorating. I'll show you this. My main decorating is coming from the Create 365 booklet of stickers. Uh, these are the mini ones and this is productivity. They've got heaps of stickers. So I have this one, this one is the mini seasonal, and this one is the memory keeping dates and holidays. But I have about eight of them all together. They're my only mini ones, the rest of them are big. But these are what I, and they're so chunky. And they're about 20 to $25 on Blitzy. And I'll put the information down here. But they last, I think that 20 to $25 is great because this has 2,601 pieces, um, this one has 2,001, 875, and a lot of the stickers that I use here are all productive stickers. So there are occasions where I will do a few decorative bits and pieces, but I mean, a little bit, but most of it is functional. I use them for things, and that is what I am doing there. Again, that's what a blank one looks like, so there's the notes. So this is what I am using as my everyday carry. There's the back. It did have an elastic on here and I just cut it off because I didn't need it. Uh, yeah, so that is this little guy and he comes with me everywhere. And I'll put these stickers over here as well, out of the way. Next up, we have my Hobonichi Weeks in a uh, Giglio Apunto regular not a slim and it's in a dark gray and i love it I, uh, dark gray dark brown and i didn't think i'd like the brown but i mean it's it's just gorgeous and it's so soft and delicious and really really nice so i open that up and i have my little penguin here i don't see the penguin but one very much but he was my favorite and I've just got a little bit, few bits and pieces. I've got one of the older um, notebooks from Hobonichi from last year. And yeah, so this is my Hobonichi Weeks. 
here I don't track a whole bunch this is my monthly one it's just telling me when the holidays are what we're, and what terms we're in here I'll put down any kind of excursions or incursions that we're doing at school or um, any big important things like that I have like just a few things I need to do for the term some goals that I need to get done um, here are the other so there's it comes with two bookmarks the second bookmark is here so this is starting next week term two week one I've just got some my student teachers information here so I didn't want to put that out for the world to see but I've been writing down that she is going to be with me over these next say six weeks and I'm training her up um, I also just some to do's that I need to get done for the week here um, looking back in the past I didn't use this week or last week because it's been holidays and I've just been putting everything in this I don't like to double up on anything so all right so let me show you this one here you can see an example of the to do's I have down here and my to do's and appointments just solely for work except for here because I was going to Phillip Island um, for my husband's Nana's 90th birthday party so I had that bit yet there um, but usually this is all solely about work and just things that I need to get done because I have a lot to do in a week and uh, yeah I don't like to cross them over I used to have them all together but I don't really like having I'll have this out on the table on my desk and I don't really like having my personal information out for all my students to see and parents to see because everybody has wandering eyes and uh, some things just you know especially if I'm using this as a journal there is absolutely zero way I'm having this out on my desk it stays in my bag and it comes with me everywhere but it's not visible to everybody so yeah this is how I set it up this is how it's kind of set up for the start of next week um, I do kind of like putting little decorative things here or little inspirational quotes so I am doing that again I just love this paper the Toymoe River paper it just I love it uh, in the back I have um, the hobo stencil I've got nothing in that zip my phone is ringing um, I have my mum's lasagna I've got a couple of recipes in here should really be in the, this other one but I don't know it's here now <laughs> back in uh, the notes section I started to use this planner before I started using it for work I wasn't sure how I was going to use it and to be honest the reason I really wanted to use it is because I love the cover so much so much but I realized very quickly that I couldn't have home and work in the same planner so this worked out really well but I initially just wanted to use it as my grocery list and this is how I used to use it back then so this is how I used to have it just only putting down what we we're having for dinner um, and then my online shopping order and what I needed to buy but basically all this goes in here and my online order goes in my daily pages in my Hobonichi if I need it um, but that's how I used to use it this is why I have staple household items in here meal ideas all those sorts of things um, and I've clipped all them out because I don't really use them they're good to have but I'm not really using them and then that's why I put a line down here and um, once I finish this video I'm going to put all my um, logins and I won't put in my actual password but I put in clues to my password in here and for my indexing and that is it for this one speaking oh and I have the top pocket which I don't have anything in currently but sometimes I'll put in like referrals or ILP information for students and things like that in there so that is this one just rewinding back to this one again I just wanted to show my index page in the back there are a few pages there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten about eleven pages in the back which isn't very many uh, but I am using it for um, happy mail in here and just some money that I am owing like for car and my car payments and stuff like that um, in the back of this one so I didn't really need I don't do a lot of you know book collections or movies that I want to sit move see at the cinema and stuff like that I don't track that stuff um, all right ah, 
The last one here is one that I've only just revisited. This one I used to use every single day for work. This was my workhorse. This was everything. But my job has changed. So this is one I used a few years ago and it was my everything. I put work and home life in this. Then I realized that I didn't like having them both together. I just used it for work. It, lasts, it worked really well. Um, but then I found that it was too big for what I really needed. And this size was just perfect and I could kind of carry it with me everywhere and it was nice and small. Uh, this one I use still for work and let me show you how I use it. So for those of you that don't know I am a teacher and I'm a primary school teacher. So I love these pockets in here. I've got my date covers if I want to use them. How cute are they? By Planet Beautiful. Can you see that? Um, some Hobonichi stickers in there. Everybody keeps ringing me, so I'll be quick. Uh, in the back, I have some work information in there, some notes that I need about certain children. Um, now, in this page is one of my all-time favorite pages in the Hobonichi Cousin. I use this to index, and I'm going day by day. So even though we are in April now, I'm still going through these. And these are what I'm using as my notebook. So every time um, I have a, a PD or I have a big to-do list or I have any um, brainstorming information that I need on a specific topic that we're doing at school at the moment, um, then I will put it in these pages up the back in my daily pages. So the way I do this, instead of using number form, if I stick something on this page, it's February the 24th. So I'll go to February to the 24th. I'll call it whatever it is. So this might be um, um, PD on numeracy. So I might write that in there, write all my notes from the PD and I'll write here PD on numeracy. So if I ever wanna refer back to it, I can just look for it there. That's how I use this page. Then I have over here, oops, before we get to that, I have my monthlies and I'm not really using my monthlies for a lot, um, but that's kind of to be advised. I'm not sure how I'm going to use that yet, but I'll figure it out. Then I go into my weeklies and this is again starting for next week. So I'm in term two, week one. Um, I've been using these little guys up here sometimes. I don't like to do it every week because it bulks up the pages in that one spot and it kind of gets wonky. So I've just sectioned off the different hours, the different subjects that I'm teaching um, before school, after school and the school hours and I'll put in little brief notes of things that happened throughout that hour or things I needed to change and I can refer to back. So this is kind of the template that I was using in a bigger A4 form at the start of here, but I didn't need to use that. I do all my planning on Google Docs, so and I share it with the rest of my team. So that needs to be there. I can't do my planning here, but I can do my altering and um, any observational notes and things like that I'll put in here. And I also have the weekend section. So it looks like that normally. And the weekend section here, I am going to use this for notes and bits and pieces like that. And that is it, guys. At the back, I do have a notebook in here somewhere, I thought. I don't know. I used to have a notebook in here, a Hobonichi A4 notebook. But, oh no, I took it out because I have all these pages to use as my notebook. I didn't need any more. So that's it, guys. This is my Hobonichi a5 cousin in a Giglio Aponto in the gold color for work, planning, observational notes, note taking, blah, blah, blah. Um, my work everyday to do's and um, meetings and things like that that I need to attend. So that one kind of lives at school. This one kind of comes and goes with me every day to school and from home from school. And this one is my little everyday home life collection so guys this is it this is what i'm using for 2018 i don't see myself changing anytime soon i do have my hackles this i love this cover 
Um, I do have my phone, which I use as well for alerts and reminders and things that I have with my new Apple Watch. How cool is it? Um, to set reminders about when kids need to go to special ed programs or when um, I need to be reminded that we have a, a, a special assembly on so I don't keep teaching so I remember to take the kids. Uh, so yeah, I do use my phone and my iWatch in conjunction with these things, but my, the heart of my planning is right here. These are just, it's like, because I forget everything, this helps me with that. But love these, I love these as accessories. Guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will very much talk to you soon. I'm back in the habit. Bye guys.